Hello guys, I recently received this comment on my YouTube channel with a question how to create artisan commands in Laravel. And weirdly, I didn't have a video before, I really thought I did, but apparently I didn't, so it's time to fix that issue. How to create Laravel artisan commands, what are the parameters like email and password, and we will create exactly that. What this user Mikrich has requested, we will create PHP artisan user create with email and password. For that, I have a fresh, totally new Laravel project without any installation of any Laravel breeze or jest stream or anything, and we will create an artisan command. And it's done really easily. PHP artisan make command. And then you come up with some kind of name like create user command. I really like to use suffixes in all of the file names. So if it was create user, it could be anything. It could be a job, it could be maybe a controller or something. So whenever you suffix the class with what it does, it's kind of easier to read and easier to search through all the project. So we've generated that command and where is it in our project? Let's open up PHP Storm. And here's our artisan command generated as class create user command. It is in app console commands and whatever you generate with make command will land in this folder. Now, what do we need to do to fill it in with actually action? First, signature. How would you call that command? So command name should be replaced, for example, with user create like this. And then common description. Description is kind of optional, but it will appear when someone launches PHP artisan list. Not sure if you're aware of that command. So for example, creates a new user. And let's try to launch a command called PHP artisan list, which lists all the possible artisan commands available. And among there you have user create creates a new user. So this description will be public for everyone who will use artisan list or who will open that file and try to understand what that command actually does. Then you have a constructor, which is optional. You may use it to pass parameters, but I usually don't. I even delete that. And then there's handle method, which actually handles what you want to do with that artisan command. And in our case, we want to create a new user, right? So let's do exactly that. User, create, and for now, without any parameters, we will get to that in a minute. Let's fill it in with email, for example, random, random of eight characters at gmail.com. Then password would be also string random, for example, 12 characters and name. Of course, we forgot the name, name, let it be the same as email. So let's open that and turn that into a variable. So name equals random eight, and then we assign that to the name, and then we'll reuse that name as an email, and we will get to parameters in a minute. That's kind of a temporary solution. So name with Gmail, and then password should be also saved because we will show that as a result. So password equals this, and then we have password here, then comma here. I guess we're good. And then return zero. It actually means success, but in reality, artisan commands shouldn't return anything. They should show something if needed. So for example, this, and there are a few methods to show something on the screen, like this info is the most popular. Just show success. And that's it. Let's try to launch our artisan command. So PHP artisan user create. Any errors? No, success. Or instead of success, let's actually show what we've generated, the name and the password successfully created email equals name at gmail.com or it could be a separate variable email and then password is password not sure if it's safe to actually show that password but just as an example that we have that variable and let's try it out php artisan user create we have email and we have password successfully generated. And of course that password should be hashed. So I forgot one thing. It shouldn't be password. It should be bcrypt password like this or a hash make password is another way to do the same thing basically. And let's install Laravel Breeze and try to log in with a new user. So composer require Laravel Breeze. Then PHP artisan Breeze install and then npm install and npm run dev, which will take a bit longer. So I will make a pause in this video and get to the finish. Okay, success. And now let's try to user create and we have email with password. So this is our homepage with now login and register by Laravel Breeze login. 
paste the email and paste the password from here and let's see if we logged in successfully we did great so user command works now how do we pass the parameter so for example you want to do something like php artisan user create and then name like admin then email admin admin com and password is one two three four five six seven eight which i don't again advise but still so three parameters how to register them in the command and how to make them as variables for that in the command signature you need to specify in these brackets so name email and password and then instead of having random here name will be this argument name password is this argument password and also we have the email so we'll do the same thing with email so no randomness anymore argument email and here we change that to email and here we also change that to email email okay now let's repeat that again with this thing successfully created email with password so let's try to log in again log out the old user log in again admin admin com and password that we provided success so this is how you can pass arguments to the artisan command by specifying these also any argument could be optional so for example if you have three parameters but third one could be optional password optional this argument password or then random password random of 12 and let's try to create a user without password so we repeat that without the third parameter and of course i cannot create a user with the same name so let's change something and then it is successful and password is automatically generated so this is how you can create the argument optional another way of passing the parameters is by name so if we return to the original question minus u and minus p with password laravel has dash dash with so-called flags or options so we can define the flag or option with dash dash name and then if that option gets the value we have equals at the end so dash dash email equals and dash dash password equals like this sometimes there are options which are just true or false so for example let's make it verified or not dash dash verified and if it is passed then the user will get automatically verified with the email verified at colon as filled in with now instead of null so this is our new signature and instead of doing this argument we have option now this option name this option email and this option password and then we have email verified at email verified at if we have this option verified then we have now otherwise we have no like this and let's try to launch the command with the same parameters and it will fail because no arguments are expected so if you have these without dash dash these are arguments if you have dash dash we have options what we need to do instead is have name something then dash dash email something gmail.com and password something password equals something successfully created and now let's try with verified and it will fail and i will show you why dash dash verified and that failure will not be related to the artisan command well first failure is duplicate entry for the email so i changed the email to something not duplicated and it is success now so the command itself is successful but if we take a look at the database the email verified is not set why because by default laravel user model doesn't have that as fillable field and it's kind of right because the email verification is handled by internal laravel function and we probably shouldn't do it manually but for the purpose of this example let's add that to fillable let's relaunch that command with another unique email something like this create it and if we refresh the database we have email verified at successfully set so this is how you can deal with options and arguments in artisan commands next i want to show you a feature called progress bar so if you have some kind of a longer job for artisan command and you want to show the progress on the screen in the terminal you can do that with this syntax so you create the bar this output create progress bar and for that you need to pass the amount of records the amount of steps in total and for example let's create the count option to create multiple users 
and then for each of that count iteration first we start the bar and then we do bar finish and what i forgot to do is bar advance there's a step advancing feature function so start then advance with every iteration and then finish so you manually increase the step and let's change that option count to count equals and then delete all the others so let's create 10 random users php artisan user create with count equals 10 verified option does not exist we should have left that as dash dash verified like this and saw the progress bar it's 10 out of 10 successfully created 10 users so this is how you can inform your users about the progress of the job and final thing I wanted to show you is that you can call your artisan command from anywhere in the code, even directly from the web. I will now show you thing which is kind of unsafe, so don't try that at home, but just as an example. Within that function, you can call artisan facade call and then command user create count equals 10, for example, 10 users, right? Of course, if you do that with routes, it should be under middleware, protected or something like that. It's better to be done in controller or some kind of job. But just as an example that you can launch artisan call from anywhere. And let's try to launch the home page. Yeah, it is launched. Of course, that progress bar isn't seen anywhere. But let's see if the 10 users are registered. Haven't refreshed really. But these are the last users at 6.32, 10 users. Actually, let's try it again so it would be approved. It takes a while, like three seconds. And if we refresh now, there's another set of 10 users. So that works. So you can basically launch Artisan Call from wherever you want in the other parts of your application. So that's all you needed to know about Artisan Command in a short 10-minute video. If you want to read more and expand your knowledge, there's Artisan Console documentation, or you can take a look at Laravel examples. I have laravelexamples.com, my new project, and in open source projects, there are around 20 projects, and some of them have Artisan Commands in there. Like, for example, Accounting, let's take a look, GitHub, we go to App, Console, Commands, and there are a lot of commands like bill reminder, which probably will send the email or something, sending bill reminders, and then there's this remind. So there could be private methods or protected methods in the command itself, and remind probably will send the email or event with notification, so something like that. So you can take a look at more Laravel examples here in general, or specifically about console command, just browse through GitHub repositories, and I will link that project link in the video description below. That's it for this time. Subscribe to the channel to help me to get to 100,000 subscribers and get the YouTube play button as an award or something. And see you guys in other videos.